Well, how do their chums to say, Captain of the Steves, and we're jumping back inside of No Man's Sky. Still loading in at the moment. Got myself a lovely brew. Captain's brew, yes. Got my own brew of tea, I guess. Oh, yeah, 07 brew. A little ship on the side there. Very lovely stuff. Hmm. Yummy. Okay. Well, I, I thought it would have finished loading in by now, but obviously it hasn't. So, yeah, I'll see you when I'm in there. Okay, jumps while we're in, I guess. And it's still asking me to build that ceiling light. That's not going to happen until we have got the actual patch. If you're wondering what I'm on about, yeah, there is a bit of a bug going on at the moment. I'll put a video just above me there. You can go and watch that. It's only 11 minutes long, but it shows you how bugged out that ceiling light is. So we're just going to move on to phase three, go back to phase two at some point. Okay, dig up buried items. Right, yeah, then. Okay, cool. Lovely. Okay, collect lost objects. Alright, we're fine. This way, apparently. It was that one. A subterranean organic relic, is it? Okay, well, we're heading there then to go pick up that. 97 years away. We'll grab that freaking sodium plant on the way there, people. Aha, that's mine. Get in my pocket, you, you shiny yellow plant. Yeah, we'll head on over there. And we've reached our destination. Train manipulation. Okay, what's this then? Ow, take that, you, you organic thing! Money beam. Lovely jobs. Oh, that counts as one. Okay, brilliant. We've got one. Alright, fine. Let's find another one. Right behind me. Only 32 years, years this way. Alright, cool. Well, I think I got lucky with this place, people. Now, what the fudge are you, mate? Okay. Zap! Take that! Okay, any more for any more. Ah, too weak now. Okay, it's this direction, but we could be a little wild, people. You just look at all those hazardous plants down there. I'm going to zap all them on my way to wherever we're going. I'm going to collect plants and all sorts of other shizzle while I'm on my way there, but I'll let you know when we get there, people. Jumps, I am locked on to the last one. It's just over here. Lovely jubbly. Let's uh, get my terrain manipulator. Oh, watch out, little guys. I'm going to be digging right by you. All right? Cool. Yeah, lovely. They're out of the way. Cool. And we'll be using this. Zap de zap. Don't come back. Chkapow! There we go. One man's treasure. Okay, let's um, hold that. To this. Yeah, get rid of that. Pop that badge. Inventory is full. Story of my life. Okay, let's see if we can sell some stuff to this guy. <laughs> Look, we had it. We got a trader land just as I needed to free up some inventory. I mean, I could use my trade rocket, couldn't I? And just send it all up to the old station. But I might get more money selling it to this guy. Hello. Yes, I would like to sell some things, please. Okay, and sell. I'm going to sell to thee. What shall I sell to thee? Let's have a look. You can have my sweet root. And you can have my bromide salt, because I'm feeling generous. And what else can I sell to thee? Um, I a little, uh, you can have some glass. There you are. You can have some salty fingers. You can have the remainder of my star silk, my man. And refreshed larvae. Hmm, okay, well that sells for quite a lot. All right, fine. Mm, I don't know whether I need it for the actual mission. That's the thing. All right, we'll sell it anyway. All right, there we go. Done. Let's go into here. Let's pop that badge then. Sweet. Okay, we've got navigational data times five. Salvage data times 16. And a ticket to freedom. Oh, I like the ticket to freedom. What do we do with the ticket to freedom when it's at home? What the fudge is a ticket to freedom? I've never had a ticket to freedom before. Accept invitation. Yes, please. I mean, oh, I don't know where I was supposed to do that right there. And then I just got excited. I had to press the button. It told me to, okay? And <laughs> cool. All right, let's, let's see what that's done then. Oh, wow, that spun me right round, baby. Right round, like a record, baby. Round, 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 round. Right, where's my ship? It's over this way. I know I've got the voice of an angel. I'm here to entertain. It's one of my gifts, one of my many gifts, as well as my lovely cups of tea. I guess let's head on over to my shippity ship and take him to the stars. That's kind of what it was telling me to do, wasn't it? Oh, let's just select the third mission here. 
Photograph three different environments. Well, this is an environment for sure, isn't it? Let's um, let's, let's get a picture of that. All right there, you go. One photograph taken. Oh, wrong freaking button. Yeah. Right, we'll try that again. Hide menu is Y. Take photo is A. Did that, did that work? Did it? Okay. Uh, oh, they've actually told me the environments they want pictures of. A scorched airless planet. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. All right, fine. Oh, yeah, that's going to take me a while to find all of them, isn't it? All right, we've got my ship anyway. So, let's go back to the log then. What was this voice of freedom thing then? Rendezvous worlds, rebel star against the machine. Oh, okay. It was, it, it's that. We don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do that. We're going to stick to our expeditions. There we go, Grand Tour. Okay, so we need to find a scorched planet, an airless world, and a and a frozen world. Let's see if any of those exist in this system, shall we, people? Now, because this was discovered by Hello Games, I should be able to go to my Discoverers screen. And we have a frost crystal planet in this system right now. That's sodium, so we could probably go there as well. And that one looks like it could be desolate. So we can go to all three of these and take the photos that we need, can't we? All right, so there we go. We go to that one first, Copper and Pyron. I think this is going to be one of those abandoned worlds. This would count for one of those. I guess it will. Let's have some tea while we're flying there, shall we, people? What do you have as your person fuel? Do you drink tea? Do you drink coffee? Or do you drink something else? Let me know inside of the comments, people. Anyway, it's going to take me 51 seconds to get there. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, Jams, we're almost there. We've got four seconds on the old clock as we hurtle through the atmosphere. Ha! I gotcha. There's no atmosphere on these dead planets. No, there's not. But look, we've got this burning thing happening. So it kind of goes against that idea that there's no atmosphere. Ah, oh, what fudging heck? It's not a desolate world. It's a freaking Vulcanus world. Dang you, game! You tricked me! Right, okay. Dang it. Okay, well, that, that, that didn't go too swimmingly, did it? Right, okay. Next planet, then. Oh, look at you, you shiny marble. Ha! You shine no longer, marble. We got him. We got him good, people. He didn't even see it coming, did he? Right between the eyes. Okay, right. Well, I guess that was time wasted. We're going to the frost crystal world now, people. Let's go! Hurtling across the sky! Jace searches for his father to unite the root and lead the Lightning League to victory against the forming forms of Saw Boss. Lightning strikes! Sorry, people, I grew up in the 80s and that was one of my favouritest cartoons, Jason the World Warriors. If you've never seen Jason the World Warriors, hit it up on the tube of you. You'd be glad you did, even if you just watched the theme tune. It's freaking awesome. The wheels keep on turning. That money. We are warriors. We are warriors. Yeah, okay. I butchered that. Yeah, I did that no justice at all. None of you are probably going to search for it, but you're missing out, people. You really are. I'm not doing it justice. Trust me. Go watch it. Okay, right. right not right now. But you, you're here to watch this, mate. Stay here. Later. Jason the Warriors. Put it in the grey matter for later, mate. Okay, right, here we go. Let's um, land here, then, because we've just got to take a picture. Can I just take a picture from inside my ship? Let's, let's see if that bloody works, because that would save me a freaking trick, wouldn't it? Take photo! There we go. I don't know whether that worked. All right. I mean, didn't see anything change with the mission statement. The mission statement's not even on the bloody screen, mate. All right, we'll, we'll get out, then. It probably doesn't register until you're on foot. All right, well, let, let's just see. Let's just go in... Oh, it did work. Look, photographed one frozen planet. It freaking worked. All right, cool. All right, fine. Let's let's see if there's a scorched planet. Whether well, we know there's a scorched planet in this system because we found it on this map, didn't we? Where was it? We got pyrite. Does that count as scorched? I don't know whether it does. You know, it might do. I should have landed there and checked, shouldn't I? Cactus flesh, star bulb. Solarium. I think that one's more like yeah, Scorched Planet is the is the ringed one that we're going to next, people. Let's head on up to the ringed planet. If you like it, gotta put a ring on it. Oh, too much singing, Captain Steve, in this episode. What is it? Freaking X Factor? No, it's Snowman's Sky. Just stick to playing games. Stick to what you're kind of half good at. 
I wouldn't even say I'm half good at this. I mean, look, I can't even find a poxy planet right now. Is the planet hiding behind another planet? We will find out in this nerve riveting episode of Captain Steve Tries to Play Games. All right, okay. Um, hold on, it's, it's the ringed one that we're after. It should be freaking easy to spot, Steve. Okay, uh, no, not there. Okay, someone's nicked it. Okay, um, no, there it is, right there. We found it. That didn't take us all freaking day, did it? Right, we're on our way there then, people. As we thunder across... Oh, I've already done that line. Anyway, I'll see you there. People, people, people! I've just in been intercepted by a sentinel ship in space. Oh, no, I shot him! Oh, for fudge's sake! I did not mean to shoot you. Come back! Oh, I clicked the mouse to click on the screen to continue recording it. It bloody shot him, didn't it? Oh, for fudge's sake! Oh, okay, yeah, I'll see you at the planet. Okay, jumps. we reconvene as we're flying down to the planet. The next time, if I get intercepted by a Sentinel Interceptor in space like that, I think I'll enter into the dialogue and then start recording. Yeah, yeah it's a bit finicky. Trying to use OBS while you're trying to play on, play, uh, on the PC. Tricky. I'm going to land here. I mean, yeah, I know we just proved the point that you don't have to land or get out of your ship to take a photo. But I'm going to do it anyway. Might as well set foot on the planet. Use a little bit of launch thruster fuel. You can do what well you want in the universe. Oh, yeah. And run over to the edge of this cliff. I'm going to get a nice photo. I don't need to get a nice photo. Any old photo would bloody do. Oh, hello, pigeons. But well, I'm going to get a nice little sweeping landscape picture. It might even end up on my thumbnail. Who freaking knows? In fact, I got a picture for like this one last time for my... Um, my thumbnail not that you saw me take it but there we go does that count yes it does now we just need an airless world and i don't think there's an airless world in this system people we got frost we got star bramble we got cactus fungal mold copper that's 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 a freaking lava world mate lava world and then we've got this one that we're on right now so no there's no airless world inside of this zone no there's not all right okay well we'll just do a jump so what i'm going to do we will come across an airless world that they're quite common so all i do is i'll just go to expedition eh? and we'll go to hot pursuit smuggle contraband holy fudge okay um is there anything else i could be doing to be honest <laughs> okay well we're doing that then yeah we're gonna go smuggle some contraband we need to go find ourselves Ah, you see there it says install a conflict or economy scanner. Do I have either or inside of my ship already? I don't believe I do. Let me just uh, check a Kate. Uh, I don't. I don't have either or in there. Do I have it as buildable technology? I don't. I don't have it as buildable technologies. And the game has not been generous enough to gift me it. No, it hasn't. Right, well, we'll stick that there. Um... I could get the adjacency bonus off of that, couldn't I? But we'd have to shuffle things around. If I move that there, I can move that on there. That there. That there. Adjacency bonus on my uh, mining beam. Lovely jubbly. All right, anyway, we're going to call in the old Nexus. I might as well be flying into the old Nexus. Oi! Oh, planetary interference. Dang you! Now let me call in the Nexus. Go. We're going. And we'd um we go hit this up, people. All right. Well, I'll see you up at the actual terminal. Well, the actual guy that sells ship parts. I'll show you where he is later. Okay, jumps. Well, we're up in the Nexus, and we've got to go speak to this guy. The guy that looks like he's got a cuttlefish for a head. Hello there, Hyperion. Yes, I'm here to see you, my good friend. Research ship upgrades, and what we want is the economy scanner. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you know what? I'm going to get the conflict scanner as well. It just makes things easier. Yes, please. I'll have you too. Oh, uh, dang it. We're going to need a walker's brain. That can be rather tricky to get. Sometimes, though, when you speak to Tephus, sometimes Tephus can offer you a walker's brain. Uh, usually you trade him something for it. Or sometimes he's just gifted me it in the past, I believe. But we'll see. We'll see if he does anything of the sort. He's probably going to chat my ear off now, people, about all sorts of stuff. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the first time I've ever spoken to him. There you go, just take the freaking units. Okay. 
Come on! And just keep going through the menu. And then he would, he would exhaust all of his thing. And then you re-talk to him again. Okay, he actually mentioned about Sentinels. That he's interested in Sentinels. Let's see if he... Um... Nope, he's not going to give me a freaking Walker's Brain. Another place where you can get Walker's Brains is sometimes from the actual mission cube in the centre here. Sometimes it can be offered as a reward. I don't really want to take on a freaking Sentinel Walker at this stage of play, you know. And no, there's no Walker's Brains there as... as um... As gifts, is there? No. Damn it! Dang it! And blast it! All right. Okay. Well, we probably won't be installed in the conflict scanner, but we can get in the actual. Uh, we can get in the other one. We can put in the economy scanner inside my shifty ship. Oh, I've only got one technology slot anyway. All right. Fine. We'll put in the economy. Hold on. I want this one. Microprocessor and wiring loom. Okay. All right. Fine. We we'll get that then. Wiring loom and microprocessor. I'm going to have to go to the old station to get those bits. So we're just flying over to the station. I mean, I could use the teleporter terminus in here and teleport there. But I'm just going to fly there, I think, people. I could just jump to another system. And that system might actually have one of those airless welds in anyway, couldn't I? I could do that. <coughs> Let's just do a jump from the galactic map for a second. We'll see if we can find an airless world just by sheer freaking chance and fluke. You never know, it might even be a pirate system by freaking chance and fluke. Oh, would you look at that? They've actually marked a pirate system for me anyway. I didn't even need the economy scanner, mate. Didn't need it. What the? That was freaking weird. That shouldn't happen. But I'm glad it did. Okay, chums, well, we've arrived, located inside of said pirate system. Yes, we have. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yeah? And we're going to go fly into this outlaw station right now, then, people, and get ourselves a shed load of contraband. Before I do that, though, because I'm going to have the system authorities after me if I do that, let's just see if there is any dead welds inside of this system, shall we? Fungal mole planet. Okay. How about you, my little attractive marble? What are you? Solarium! Is there any other planets in this system? And there's one more. Just through the rings of this planet. Let's go through there quickly then. Aha! I've got it on my scanner. Solarium. Arid moon. Okay, so... How many planets are in this system? There are only three. And none of them are airless. Alright. That was worth a check before I went in, just in case one of them was. Anyway, we're going to go flying in here. Smuggle contraband worth 120,000 freaking units. I don't even think I've got enough room inside of my ship inventory to do that, or in my actual personal inventory. I think you can put it in either of the inf inventories. That's a, I always press the wrong button on this uh, joypad, don't I? Well, I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> And let's uh, break this down. We'll break those down. Okay, Exosuit. Exosuit. Hmm. What can I get rid of here? We get rid of the. We get rid of that. Why is it making such a weird freaking noise? Why are we getting this music for? If you can call it music. I don't remember pirate stations making this sound before, people. That's strange. That is very strange. Alright. That's just thrown me, like, massively. What are you doing up there? Alright, fine. And uh, what are we here to do? Oh, yeah, buy stuff. Let's go to this guy, then, I think. Are you the guy that I buy things off of? I haven't been in one of these for such a long time. Alright, we'll have all of them. We'd have all of them. We'd have all of them. I don't know how much money is I just bought there, but they're the only illegal black market goods this guy has on offer. Uh, suspicious package. I don't. I don't think they class as contraband. I think it's just the purple things that class as contraband. Okay, black market goods are required. Fly them to a um, normal area of space. But well, hopefully when we do another random jump now, hopefully we're going to get a 
a system that has like at least one planet that's a bit squiffy, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we go. Zoom! I wonder if that weird sound's gonna stop. That's a dissonant system. Okay. We could jump there, I suppose. Let's go there. Meow! Okay. Well, we've arrived, Coated. Oh, at least I think we have. It made a noise. Oh, my days! We've got a sentinel in distress. Okay. Shall we try and save this one? I think we should. And then we get a, we get more inventory slots then, won't we? Yeah, take that, hostile ships! Hiya! Freaking Kong food you in the face, mate! We can take this! Oh, you get back! Come back here and die! Yes, you know you want to. I'm gonna blow you to oblivion! To Hades you go! Dang it! I think another ship got in the way of my, my rockets! And their sh shields absorbed it. Take that! Scatterbug! Got him. Right, next one. Come here, you roustabout, shooting me in the frickin' back. I saw you. Take that. You sneaky man, sneak, sneak. Okay, right. Fly around. Take that! Yes, death becomes you. Right, you're now flying space rubble. I guess you are. Okay, right, next. Come on. Bring it on. Captain's got you in his sights, I guess. Come here, you. Roust about, vagabond. Oh, take that, you. You know, chop. Right, okay, here we go. Let's fly us around. Wait, you. Holy mackerel. What was that beep noise? I heard a beep noise in my ear. There was a beep noise, people. I heard a beep noise. Suck a power. Oh, you died! Way before your time. Poor you, you space pirate. You chose the wrong profession. Right, here we go. Die! Yeah, okay, well, let's spin this around. The amount of times I've said that now, I'm probably going to get flagged by the Google algorithm. I'm probably going to have to send this for manual review. Hello there, YouTube people! Watching my video. Uh, Garrett, grab yourself a cup of tea. You've earned it! You've earned it! I guess you have. As long as you flag this as being totally fine for ads and all that sort of shenanigans. And of course you have. If you haven't, then, you know, you're not having a cup of tea ever. All right, here we go. Let's uh, hand on over here. Take this, you. You're roused about. Yeah. And if you are watching YouTube people that put these things, you do an awesome job. Yes. I just wish that your freaking algorithm was better. Your AI. And call it artificial intelligence. It is very artificial. All right, here we go then. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm coming aboard. I'm hoping you're going to give me your freighter for free for saving it. Yeah. Here we go. We've gone in through his shields. Let me in. Coming in. Coming into your freighter. I think they have done something to the freighters. I mean, all that shield looked really quite cool and quite new, didn't it? And the mechanic there, I think it actually works a little nicer. All right, let's head on. Ah! Who put that crane there? It took my face off. Look at my whiskers. I could have caught those on the freaking bolt head of that. Tore them off my face. And I, 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 there's no glue in the world that's going to fix that. Okay, right, let's head on over here. Hello there, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, are you going to give me your freighter? That's, that's the question. Inspect freighter! Yes, I'm going to claim it, because look at all that storage space. I know it's not a lot, but it's some. Thank you very much. Okay, now we've got our own fratar. Nice. Not that we overly needed it, but I could do with the extra storage. There we are, people. Free anyway. Everyone likes a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes. Now, if you do pass up on this first freighter, usually you get offered a second one. It's usually better, just as a heads up. But, you know, it's the expedition. I'm not overly fast. It's just a starting freighter. Saying that, this might become my actual save for playing No Man's Sky. Because what I'm actually thinking of doing is after this expedition ends, right, there's in the experimental mode, is I might jump into that console, the new console, inside of the old um, Space Anomaly, 
and hit up another expedition. There we go, we found a lifeless planet, people. Yes, I very much doubt you're going to be ending up coming to this same system. But I can give you the portal address just in case you're really struggling for it. But there you go. There's the portal address for this this system if you are struggling to find an airless world. But hopefully you're not. There you go. You should be able to find them. They're ten a penny. Ten a penny. But when you don't want one, you find loads. And when you do want one, they're like rocking horse turd. There we go. So I pretended I didn't want it. But I did, really. Okay, there's an anomaly that's just uh, crept up on me. Oh my days! Hello? Hello? Do you want to talk to me? Yes, you do. Yes, 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 yes. What do you want? Home world of whatever. Yes, yeah, surviving. There's a load of population in there. I'm not going to shoot it and blow it up. I know I know you're probably thinking you should. I'm not going to. I'm going to fly around here. I'm going to just continue on with our journey. To the Ellis Lifeless Planet, because it sounds like Bartlins. Okay, right, well, it's going to take me 40 seconds to get there. I'll see you from the power of editing. Okay, people. Well, oh, I just bounced off the planet somehow. Well, that was me trying to hit the record button and trying to be clever at the same time. Doesn't work, Captain of the Steves. You, multitask, never. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Oh, one second, one second. Well, how do there, chums? I'm back again. Oh, budge and heck, I forgot what I was doing. I actually received a parcel from Inflection Games. You know, the people that made Nightingale. Yes, they sent me a gift bundle box. Oh, freaking awesome. Got some cards in there and a hat. I'm going to do an unboxing video, so look out for it soon. Freaking heck. A bit out of breath from running about and unboxing and doing all that sort of shizzle. Right, oh, anyway, let's, let's get a picture of this world. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Skip that. Oh, look at that. It's all dissonated, or whatever you want to call it. Chicka boom Take photo. There we are. Grand tour. Completicated. I guess it is. Right, okay. Well, let's jump into that then. Expedition. I can pop that badge then. Chicka bow pow. Chicka boom boom. Back of the seeds. Sweet. Okay, now we better get all this contraband up into the station as quickly as we possibly can. Meow. Where is the station? Station, station, where are you? There it is. Over by my capital ship. Yes. Haven't been scanned by the system of partage, which is nice. Hopefully it stays that way. You know, I could continue streaming because, you know, we're, we're heading there, aren't we? So I might as well continue streaming. Just in case the system of partage come after me, because we have got all this contraband on us. How much contraband are we talking exactly, though? Let's have a look. So, uh, it's inside my exosuit right now, isn't it? So, that's quite a lot of money's worth of contraband, actually. Oh, we might as well analyse that and have that. Yeah, that's, we've got a quite a hefty whack of contraband on us. I didn't realise I bought so much. Alright, fine. That's all good, though. We've got some ammos. Right, eh? Cool. I think we're good. Uh, are we nearly there yet? I know that sometimes on rendering, if I leave it on this pulsing screen, it can be a little bit cack, can't it? Whoa! Yeah, um, watch out of the way. Captain coming through, Captain coming through. Oh, what do you want, mate? What? What is it? Yeah? Examine cargo manifest. Are you selling any contraband? Uh, no, you're not. Alright, I don't need anything. Thank you. Let's go on in then. Head into the station. Oh, it's still 28 seconds away. We'll reduce that in time. Oh no, I'm getting scanned. I'm getting scanned, people. I thought it would happen. Get in there quick. Will they get you, Steve? Phew! Nice one. Made it aboard. And go sell all that contraband and hopefully pop that badge. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Jump out of my ship. My leg it over here. Here's the nearest one over this side. Zoom! Like Superman, but yeah, not as good. Right, there we go. Boom. I'm going to hit sell. And I want to sell anything that's purple. There we go. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. And we'll sell that. Did it pop the badge? It did! Hot pursuit! I am hot and I am pursued. So yes, perfect badge for moi. 
Okay, here we go. Enter expedition. I mean, at the moment, I look like a freaking giant cricket, don't I, inside the game? But I have got lovely, ravishing blue eyes, and look at those eyebrows. What? Who, who could turn those down? Oh, girls. There we are. Lovely jobby. They're like handlebar ones, aren't they? You know, it's, you could you could get some real purchase on those. All right, cool. There we are. Uh, right, so next, what's up next? And manufacture liquid explosive. I haven't manufactured liquid explosive for freaking ages. Okay, subcomponent required. Acid. Learn crafting recipes. Okay, all right, fine. Let's go do that then. Let's go learn some crafting recipes. I was just wondering whether some of these guys might sell acid, but I don't know whether they do. I think you have to craft it. That's what it's telling me to do anyway. We'll just do what we're told. We won't try and be clever at this point. Like, no! Let's fly on in then. Let's go and purchase a cake. The acid recipe. And I can't actually remember where I purchased it from. So, once I've found it, I'll reconvene let you know where I found it. Um, well... You can see here that it's conveniently given as a little icon. I did wonder it whether it was this terminal, to be honest. This would be the first one I would have gone to anyway if I was guesticating. So here we go. Now we can buy the acid one inside of here. I think it's on the second page, isn't it? Is it here? There we go. 250 acid. So we've got the Mordite from killing animals. We need fungal mould. All right. Well, I think I just learnt the recipes for actually planting fungal mould, but I can't be 100% sure that's what I actually unlocked without going to a build menu and having a look to see if I can plant fungal mould. I know I haven't got the fungus to plant the mould, but anyway, if I did have to buy the blueprints for the fungal mould, they are in here and they are under the farming area. I could just buy it just in case, because I don't really fancy traipsing all the way back up here. But I'm fairly sure we just got it given to us as a reward. So step... Oh, there you go. It's already unlocked. Cool. Lovely. We've already got it, people. But what we haven't got is that one, that one, or Nip Nip. How many... I've, I've got a few of these. I, I could unlock a couple. I'm worried, though, that I might need more. But I can always duplicate more if I do need more. There we go. We've unlocked all the plants now, people. You know what? I want that as well. The plants are rack, so we can get carbon. All right, okay. Right, well, I suppose what we need to do is then go and put all this stuff inside of my base. So I can teleport there. I've already got a biodome, and I can start growing some fungal mould. Hold on, why has it still got a pointer over that way? What else have I got to buy? Hmm. Interesting. Let's just go and have a look, see if there's something else in here that's been highlighted. Uh, maybe the lubricant? Okay, fecium and gamma root. Okay. We've got acid, we've got lubricant. Do we have to get the liquid explosive? We do, so we have to un get the unstable gel. Okay, so there's quite a lot of plants that we need to plant out to get this liquid explosive. Alright, so I've unlocked all of those. And hopefully that's now got rid of the logo. It, yes, it has. Okay, right. So we need to go to our farm and grow those components. Now, normally what you would need to do is have the hazmat gauntlets installed. So hazmat gauntlets are these guys, so you can pick the dang things. Luckily, I've got the resources that I need for that. Now, you could go to each of the planets and you could go and pick those plants in the wild. Why is it pointing, pointing me back there yet again? Why has that pointer not moved? What? What now? What do I need to buy? Okay, let's just check the mission statement. Okay. Here we are. Select an empty slot in the infantry, browse the components, any recipe pinned, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. I don't think I've got the ingredients to actually craft it. No, I can't do any of it. So I do have to go to the planet, and I do have to actually build it bit by bit. So I don't know why it's left that marker there, but that really has sort of thrown me slightly that I might have missed a step. You're probably screaming at the screen right now, Captain, say, Captain, you missed a step. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I hope I haven't, but if I have, I have. All right, here we go. We can always come back up here if I have. Right, your bases. And we're going, have the featured bases changed? No, no, they have not. Okay, your bases. We're going back to home. Zoom! Fuck like yours.
Okay, chums, I am back at my wonderful, lovely, wonderful, magical base. Let's uh, get up into my base. Num 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 num. Ah! Onto my wonky platform. Wonky platform. Up into the door. Sweet. Round here. And up here. Sweet. Now I need to put in the plants. And you're probably thinking, Captain, you haven't got any of the resources that you need. You're quite right. I haven't, you astute person, you. So we're going to need some cactus, right? And you can see there I haven't got the parts. Now, on my Xbox, if I press the wire button, and then if I press the place button and the wire button at exactly the same time, so that's that back button there, and also wire at the same time. Look what I got. I got a cactus, mate. Get back into wire, do it again. I got another cactus. Look, it's like freaking magic. Boom! And again. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to delete these. All right. And then I'm going to go back into the place mode for the cactus. And you can see there, they're snapping into place now. Which means that they're going to grow. So there we are. I now have three cactuses inside of my grow chamber. I don't know whether I need more than that. 50 per time. Let's go into the old build menu and see how much we need for the explosive stuff. So the explosive stuff is going to cost us 200. So I need one more cactus. All right. So let's uh, go back into the old build menu. Select the can cactus. Y to go into wire mode. Then back button and Y at the same time. We have a cactus. And delete said cactus. And um, put that one there. So I'm going to get 50 each from these. So that's going to give me 200, if my maths is correct. Then we need to actually craft ourselves. What else do we need to craft ourselves? Wrong button. Come on. We need to craft ourselves liquid explosive, which is acid and unstable gel. We've already got that, so it's just the acid that we need now. So we need some fungal mold. Fungal mold. Okay, fair enough. And so we need 600 of the fungal mold. Okay. Well, we're going to the build menu. Select our fungus. Press the triangle to go into wire mode. Boom. And they're going to give us 50 each. So we're going to need 12 of these. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, right. Let's delete these. And let's go put them in. Let's hope we've got 12 spots left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just enough to give your kid a treat, I guess. So why did I need the gamma root? What was that all for then? I think that was just on the tree though, wasn't it? I don't think I need the gamma root for anything in the liquid explosive sort of genre. So to make the liquid explosive, I need acid and unstable gel. So to make the unstable gel, I only need the cactus flesh. To make the acid, I only need fungal mold and some mordite. You can plant mordite plants. If you don't want to kill creatures. I don't think I have the grow bed, do I? Oh, I do. I do have a grow bed. All right. Well, we we'll select the grow bed. All I do is I'll just jump down here. I'm going to say jump and climb in. And I'll just put one of these around here, I think. I've just done exactly the same thing that I did for the actual um, the glitching upstairs. And we'll put this next to the ladder. We'll put it right here. Okay. Now, you do need to connect electricity to these things for them to work. So I put a cable there, and the electric plugs are somewhere on the outside of these. You'll see it snap. There you go. So that's now got power. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, the Mordite plant. There's the Mordite root right there. And I, I haven't got enough for it, so I'm just going to put down four here. Okay, there we go. I'll delete these. Be careful I don't delete my base. Make sure you've only selected the plant or else it gets a very messy. 
Yeah, right. And then go back over here. Uh, yeah, let's... Um, one, two, uh, three, and four. Right, so now at this base I've got everything I need to make my liquid explosives. How long do they take to grow? If you scan over them, it tells you. That's going to take 46 minutes. What about these ones? That takes three hours and seven minutes. So there's a bit of cooldown on this, people. Now, I could go out and I could pick these plants if I really wanted to. I could go to a cactus world and pick the cactuses, which would be a lot freaking quicker. But, you know, I could grow them and then just make it myself. Right, anyway, expedition-wise, what's after that then? View... Okay. Create the memory of conquest. Hmm. Storm crystal. Okay, supreme movement. I'm just having. A look. Okay, we'll do that one then. So, craft in the inventory. Really? I can just craft that right now? Are you sure? Okay. I nearly can. I just need some sodium nitride. Okay, right. Uh, da, 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 la, la, la. Where are you? There you are. Chikapal. Put that there. Put in some carbon. Lovely, lovely carbon. And then my sodium, uh, sodium nitrite. Have I got any sodium on me? I did pick up one of those yellow plants earlier. I stuck it in my back pocket. I remember doing it and singing a little song. There we are. Sweet. We got that on the back. We don't need too much, actually. So I might as well just grab... That I probably do. Now let's go back into my inventory. Inventory. And chikapa. Reveal memory. Okay, there we are. That's that done then. Okay, stop processing. That'll do. I'll take you. Take you. And you can come with me too. Come on. Let's go. Return to space to proceed. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Not a problem. Have they put my ship back underneath here? That's kind of what they keep doing, isn't it? No, don't see it. Where is my freaking ship? Ship, where the fudge are you? I don't see my ship anywhere. Oh, it's this way, apparently. Where then? Where's my ship? Alright, let's just jump down here. Let's have a look see if my ship is somewhere underneath. Unless I'm blind, I can't see my freaking ship, people. Oh. What the flying fudge is it doing up there? Okay. Well, that's new. Ah! We got in. Right, let's take to the skies then. That was freaking random, wasn't it? There we go. I've already done that step. It's telling me to do the step again, people. All right. Okay, pulse drive. That's what I was doing just a second ago. Okay, and what are we going to get? Memory fragment wise. Anomaly detected. Oh, hello! Okay, go on. Subroutine traveller. Memory status. Overwritten. Atlas diagnostics. Reality breach detected. Beginning log readout. A march that swept all before it. Across the galaxy, unstoppable. Inescapable. Now nothing but a memory. Absorb said memory! The colossal megalith floats before me. All the more surreal for being ripped from whatever planetary context once housed it. I feel myself confronted by all the hands that touched its stone. All the beings who shaped it. Who stood before it. All the fates that stone had seen arise and then fall while it alone persisted. And now here it is, itself but a memory. Torn from reality adrift in space. Yeah, that was, that was quite lovely. Okay, cool. Expand your horizons. I don't mind if I do. How do I do that then? <laughs> that button. Lovely jubbly. Memory of bones. Really? Really? What the fudge is memory of bones when it's at home, mate? What is that then? Okay, cadmium. Nice. Okay, cool. Memory of bones. We can we can do that. We can we're gonna need um 
to jump to a red star to get that though. All right, so what is this memory of bone stuff all about then? The memory of bone. Oh, okay, what's this? Um, we'll have that. Oh, we got ourselves a mining attachment. Heck yes, yeah, so I'll have that. Thank you very much. Oh, we got a movement module too. Fantastamondo. Boom. Uh, what else do we get? Do we get any other thing that was lovely? And we got a we got a little um no oh, that we can't install yet. We can't actually fit that anywhere right now, people. In fact, we didn't really even need the economy scanner, did we? So I might as well take that apart and uh stick that in there. Might do for now. There we go, a little bit of extra jump range. Carry a fragment. Okay, better leave that alone. What's in here then? Okay, we've got some bits and bobs there. Alright. Um I was looking for that thing that we we just got, but I don't, I don't, I don't find a Kate. It is it? Is it chucked it into my freighter for some unknown freaking reason? No. Starship. Where is it then? That memory of bones or whatever it was. I don't know. I can't find it. I can't see it. Uh. No. All right. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, I guess we move on from that then. I guess. Yeah. There's nothing in there. Brilliant. All right. Well, it's good to hear then. And um, we're going to Rendezvous 3. Okay. Rendezvous 3 it is. How far away are we talking? Oh, it's right next to me. Perfect. Zoom! I guess I'll see you there, people. Right, well, I've arrived at Kato. This is a very green-looking system, isn't it? Uh, I think I'm just going to fly... Sh no, I'll go in the station first, make sure that I've added this system to my actual portal list, and also upgrade my exosuits, and also sell anything in the Galactic Trade Terminal that's taken up inventory slots. Yeah, and I'll be right back with you, peeps. Just read ahead a little, people. In one of the later phases, there is actually a badge to talk to a load of aliens. 16 of them to be precise and there's not going to be 16 inside of this uh, station but i'm going to start that now so i was just going to give you a heads up to talk to everybody inside of the uh, stations the sooner the better to be honest so yeah just hit and request dialect help and just choose whichever you takes your fancy and i'm just going to go around and i'm going to do that with all of these guys in here you might want to do it if you're earlier game than me earlier than this Right there, people. We're heading down to Rendezvous Brie. And it's on an overground grown star bulb planet. Pretty darn nice. Spectacular, even. Okay, right. So, as I'm flying in, I want to see if I can spot a comms ball, really. There's a comms ball right there. Let's see if that's the place that I've got to head to. And it's a crashed freighter. So, yeah, this could be it. There's quite a few comms balls there, so I'd say this is more than likely it. Oh, and by the way, people, I don't think I've actually t checked this, but under networking, I would strongly suggest you turn off your multiplayer. You know, the multiplayer is disabled, and make sure PvP is set to no one, because you don't really want to get killed, okay, by anybody. Anyway, let's touch on down. For me, it was set to default like that. I haven't changed my settings, so there we are. Well, that's that's new. There we go. We've arrived at Kated at Rendezvous Three. Sweet. And let's just go. I, I don't think we have to hit up this lure inside of this thing. I don't think we do anyway. We can just claim that there. So that's Rendezvous Three technically done. I'm going to put this up in my technology area, people. And I'm going to put it near to my warp drive, actually. Let's stick that there. And I'm going to stick that one there. Well, we've got three, have I? Well, I'll put that one there as well, then. Okay, so at least we've got a nice cluster of technology together. Sweet. And they gave us some warp cell stuff. Nice. And we've also got some quick silver. Now, I have to wait for my uh, base to have produced those commodities. So I might just fly back to my base anyway, so head on up to the old station, jump through the portal, and yeah, that 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 that'd be pretty good, to be fair. We'll do that. I'll see you back at my base, people. Actually, people, rather than wait for it to actually grow, although I've shown you that one way to do it, inside of this system here, 
is actually a fungal mold planet right there. So I can go get all the mushrooms that I need from there. And then I think I know how to find a cactus flesh planet with ease. So we're we'll going to find that as well. I'm not going to bother stopping for that. I'll see you down at the fungal mold world. All right, chums, well, I'm flying down to this fungal mold world. And all I want to do is look for the fungal mold as I'm flying in. Now, because I'm on my PC and my render draw distance isn't amazing, it could be a little tricky to spot. I mean, I can just sort of land and scan for it, but I'd much rather spot it from up here. So what I usually do is get the cap, the um, compass marking at the top, either facing south or north or whatever, and just fly in that direction until I come across a load of fungal mould. And now this is a dissonant planet as well, so it makes it a little bit or dissident or whatever you want to call it and it's also infested i think i mean it's it's a freaking weird color let's just put it that way isn't it mm, very purple and green a very sort of void mother-esque actually right well you can see i've been flying over for a little while and i haven't seen any of the fungal mold that i'm looking for so what i might do is just set it down and then see if i can spot the fungal mold on the actual scanner. So let's just uh, touch it down here, jump out of the old ship and we'd have a little scout around for it on foot people. This might not be the best idea but I thought I'd show you two ways of getting the stuff. Holy fudge! That sounds like a giant sandworm just jumped out of the... Yes! Holy mackerel! It nearly got me! Not that it actually does any damage if it does people, just, just saying. Alright okay right, so let's have a look around there. Is that fungal mold? No that's jade peas. Okay, what about you? No, you're more jade peas. Dang you, jade peas! What about you? You're sweet root. Okay. Well, where's the fungal mould then? Fungal cluster. There we go. That way by 330 U's. Well, I can't be bothered to walk. We're going to take our ship. Now I've got it locked in. Hopefully it's going to be still lit up like a Christmas tree. Come on. Where is it? There it is. We'll head over here. And there's our fungal mould. Alright. And we'll just land somewhere nearest to here. That'll do. Sweet Caroline. Bow, bow, bow. We've got a mission later that I'm not looking forward to, people. When I was reading ahead earlier, I spotted that we've got to take out a shed load of sentinels. And I don't really fancy that, to be honest. Oh, great. Look, there's only like two plants here. And we need 600 of this stuff. I don't know how much that just, it's only given me 16. It's a massive plant! Seriously? Okay, alright, well, it's going to take me ages at this rate to find all the fungal mould on this blanking planet, isn't it? Alright, well, let's look around then. Let's see if we can find some more fungal mould. Alright, more fungal mould, 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 sweet root, pulpy root. Yeah, I don't think we're going to spot any like this. Um, I carry on flying over the planet. I'll see if I can find some more people. But this probably wasn't the best fungal well to visit, was it? You know what? Actually, because it isn't the best planet to freaking visit, if I go into my catalogue, we'll go and find the cactus, shall we? So if I go into materials and items, and if I go into plants, and then hit cactus flesh, like so, locate. There you go. It says that it's in a different star map. Now I've just got to find where I park my ship. Oh my god. It's just buried amongst all these plants somewhere. Ship! Where are you, ship? Uh, it's this way, apparently. There it is. Doesn't help that my ship is almost the same... Oh, well, hold on. There's some more fungal mould right here. Look, I didn't see that one. We'd have you. Thank you very much. And you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a little bit more. You know what I could do? I could do that trick that I did in the last episodes, people. So I'll just stick down one of these refiners, go over to it like so, grab some fungal mould. We've got 98 of it. We need 600. And then all I'm going to do is get the other refiners and place it right on top so it goes perfectly green and is perfectly aligned with the one underneath it. Now, this could be tricky because this is on a slight slope. So I made this a bit trickier for myself. Put that there. Get another one, stick it on top, grab another one, put it on top, grab another one, put it on top, grab another one, stick it on top. That's about all I can do. Okay, right.
Right, well that's not good as exactly what we need, so let's uh, do that again. Hold on, I need to put the mould in first. Da, 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 da. We've got 490. So I only need to do it once, to be honest, but... Might as well get a little bit of plastic explosive, well, the explosives or whatever, the liquid explosives. So there we go, let's put that right on top of this one. Ah! Stop it! Come on. This Xbox controller is far, far more titchy, twitchy than my other one. PlayStation. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then pick this up. Brilliant. And now we've got it already locked in for the cactus flesh. Let's just take to the skies. I recharged my pulse engines and my warp fuel in one of the cutscenes earlier when I was flying towards a planet. I have had to recharge. I don't get unlimited engines. There we go. We're heading over there. And it shows us there. You can see there. It's a cactus flesh. So that's found as the cactus world. Handy dandy little tip that. Yeah, well, I've arrived, Decoded. I should have. Uh, any second now. There we go. We've arrived. It should even show me. Well, it probably won't. I'll probably have to scan the planets in question. But hopefully we'll find it in a minute. And did I press and hold the wrong button? I didn't. Okay, right. Cactus flesh planet. Are you it? Yes, you are. And you've got ancient bones. Freaking nice. All right, well, let's just fly on down. It looks like there might be a storm raging on this planet, though, people. And now we're looking for giant cactus plants, which are going to be hard to spot during a freaking storm. All right. Whoa, Nelly! Okay. And it doesn't help that almost every plant on a cactus world looks like it's one of the cactuses. Or, or at least some of them do. Hold on, are they them? I don't know. Let's just land here and see. They look like them, but like I said, cactuses look like cactuses. Yeah. They freaking do, don't they? Can I pick these? No. Fudging great. You a cactus? Yes. 500 U's that way. All right. Well, I'm not doing that in an extreme storm. Heck no, I'm not. Let's take to the skies and let's fly over there. Here it all is. Here. And it, that didn't look too dissimilar, did they? Oh, great. There's a whole load of freaking hostile plants in the middle of all of this. Ah, oh, good. The storm's clearing, though. Just wait a couple of seconds. Give it a second for the temperature to drop down. You can see the external temperature is just plummeting right now. So there you go. It's under 100. We should be all right now. But I might want to get rid of these guys. Oh, there's beetles on this planet. I do like beetles as pets. We might have to get ourselves a beetle. Oh, for fudge's sake. Blinking sentinels are getting angry because I destroyed a hazardous plant. You know it's got a hazardous in the freaking name, right? Yeah, right. Grab these. Anyway, I I'm going to see if I can craft some beetle juice. I'm going to say beetle juice. It's not beetle juice at all, is it? Can I tame a beetle? Yes, I can. Oi! You, beetle. I want you as a pet. Don't you dare fly away. You're going to be mine. Adopter's companion? I guess... It, it, it's not a badge, I don't think, or anything like that, to, to get one of these beetles. I just wanted one. Okay, we've got ourselves a companion. I'll grab all this while I'm here. Lovely. Just in case one of those storms roll in again, people. Oh, I'm getting low on life support gel, aren't I? Well, life support in general. Just grab one of these quickly. And have I got the life support gels on me? Life support gels! Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, stop that then. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, go pick up some more cactus quickly. Let's make our job a little bit easier. I mean, I could duplicate it, but I haven't got a great deal. Okay, well, the animations for those being picked now is pretty lame. They just vanish. Some of them did, anyway.
Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I think I've got a load of oxygen. I should be okay. There we go. Well, you can see, this is what it should have been like when I was collecting the fungal mould earlier. It should have just been a whole freaking ream of the stuff, like this. This is what you usually find. This is more typical of what you find, rather than what I found on that fungal mould world. Okay, people? So, usually you get a whole massive cluster like this. Easily enough to do what you need to do with. And if it's not, you can do what I do and just duplicate it. Or you can run around the legit way and find another patch. Up to you. Right. Okay, how much of that cactus have I actually got? I've got thousands of it. Brilliant. All right. Well, in here, I should be able to create the unstable gel. Lovely. Um, what do I want to get rid of? I'll get rid of that. And then I will craft the acid. Boom. And I might as well get rid of those little guys that I just made. And we can create the liquid explosive. There we go. We only needed one. That was handy. Okay, if I needed more, I would have duplicated the dang thing. There we go. Assembly required. We're done. And they gave us some storm crystals and a supreme movement module. Heck yes. We'll just get that installed right away. Brilliant day! I think that one is my boosted one, isn't it? Or is it that one? That one's boosted. So if we swap those around, put that in there, I should have a really good movement now. Holy moly, that's good. Okay, and uh, that's all of this system done. So I can claim my Atlas Scepter. Oh, that is freaking excellent. Oh, yes, please. That's going to help me for destroying Sentinels. So take multi-tool. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I can package this out in this menu, but take multi-tool for free. Brilliant. Okay, and I can unpackage all that and stick it over into the other one. I do that in my own time. But, oh, look at that. Oh, that's wondrous. Now, I can't claim everything in Phase 2, which would be the Atlas head. Oh, that needs to be fixed so I can get my Atlas helmet. Okay, Phase 1. What can I collect in there? The posters and that. Starboard poster plans, which I think we've already done. All right, okay, brilliant. Well, we've got ourselves our magic wand, people. Freaking awesome. Hiya, hiya. Runic lens. Oh, look, it all rotates and everything. Got train manipulator, neutron cannon. Boom! Yes! That is freaking ace. Okay, now I'm not so scared about taking on the sentinels with this freaking thing in hand. All right, where's my shippity ship? So yeah, you don't have to wait for everything to finish building out, you know, with your plants and stuff. You can just do what I did, make the hazmat gauntlets and go and pick it from planets. And you can select it from your catalogue to find the planets. So it's not all too difficult. Okay, so people, the next episode we will be doing Phase 4. Yes, we will. That's where the Eliminate the Sentinels is. Great fun, hey? Okay, so we've got to eliminate sentinels, acquire a sentinel interceptor, find a site of sunken thrater, we've got to make some biscuits, then do deep glass stuff and rendezvous for, so rendezvous for. And from that, we're going to get ourselves the backpack, the jetpack, which would be lovely, wouldn't it? All right, well, uh, I just jumped in my ship and out of my ship. I'm just going to do it one more time just to make sure I've definitely saved the game. There we are. And I'm going to exit to desktop. Yes, four seconds ago. Brilliant. And yeah, that, that's pretty much me done on this episode, people inside the view of us. Hopefully you're picked up experimental and you're playing this as well. But if you're not, now this experimental run is running for about six days now. So hopefully by next Wednesday, Wednesday the 14th, I think it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? What a lovely day. Then I think the expedition is going to come out for everybody, either on the Wednesday or Thursday, for everyone. And I don't know whether that's going to be the same day that they drop the update. It could be. It could be. They usually do the update on the same day as an expedition. But I think it depends on how many bugs we find in Experimental and how quickly they get them out. And then, of course, they've got to get it certificated and over on Nintendo and on Xbox and on PlayStation, PC and Mac and all the freaking virtual environments. 
So hopefully we're going to see it either the 14th or the 21st is, is my feeling on this, people. It's going to be a Wednesday is what I'm thinking. If not a Wednesday, maybe a Thursday at a push. But normally PlayStation updates on a Wednesday. So it's usually a Wednesday that they do everything. All right, anyway, people, I'm going to end off now. So cheery bye, salute to Mondo, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.